young screen star Leonardo DiCaprio. A new book reveals Leonardo's mysteries about money, women, and life in the fast lane. And only Extra has your first look. He is the epitome of hot Hollywood, a handsome hunk and an awesome actor. On screen and off, Leonardo DiCaprio is a modern day Romeo. My heart loved till now. While we know DiCaprio from his many films, it's just now that the personal life of this intensely private young man is revealed in an unauthorized biography by Grace Catalano, who chronicles this 22-year-old's humble road to stardom. He was raised by his mother in what he calls uh, the poorhouse. Leonardo and his mother live near this dangerous stretch of Hollywood Boulevard, surrounded by hookers, drug addicts, and pimps. His interest in acting began when he realized he could make enough money to move his family out of the Los Angeles ghetto. I can get you out of this, Mom, he basically said. Leonardo started making commercials and educational films like this one for the Mickey Safety Club. To get emergency help in a hurry, just dial 911. Then his career took off. He did movie after movie, but DiCaprio became known as much for his partying and womanizing as his phenomenal acting. He has been linked with Bridget Hall, the model. He's been linked with Sarah Gilbert. He's been linked even with Alicia Silverstone. DiCaprio has also been spotted with Gwyneth Paltrow and Claire Danes. His most recent flame is model Kristen Zang. He sometimes has a new girlfriend every week because he does like to go out and have fun. But not too much fun. Leonardo doesn't do drugs. In 1995, he told Extra he learned a lesson from watching fellow actor River Phoenix die from an overdose. And River Phoenix, it, it broke my heart what happened to him. And, you know, I certainly don't want that. To, all I can say is I don't want that to happen to me. So I'm trying to, like, keep a, some sort of a level head off, off screen. He gets help in that department from his devoted mother, Ermeline, who named her son after Leonardo da Vinci. Early on, agents told the actor to drop the complicated name, but even then, he had a mind of his own. He said, you have to call me Leonardo, you can't call me Leonard, you can't call me anything else. And he went, he was at 14 years old. He knew what he wanted and uh, basically uh, went after him and achieved it. And if you ever saw Basketball Diaries, you know how good an actor he is. Here's some extra info on Leonardo. One of those agents that wanted to change his name said, change it to Lenny Williams. He made his TV acting debut on the 1988 revival series of Lassie, and he received an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his role in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Extra, 